Indominus Rex was one of the two main antagonists of the Jurassic World film, and the secondary antagonist of the first season of the Netflix series Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the story of the creation of the Indominus Rex. In the film Jurassic World, it is the latest attraction. The hybrid was created by modifying the genome of a Tyrannosaurus rex with the DNA of various other animals. Some of the known species that were included were Velociraptor, Carnotaurus, Giganotosaurus, Majungasaurus, Rugops, Pycnomosaurus, Quilmosaurus, Viaventor dinosuchus, as well as modern animals such as cuttlefish, tree frogs, and a pet viper snake. Ingen's chief scientist, Dr. Henry Wu was fascinated with the possibility to create entirely new species by gene mixing. Ever since he learned that the inclusion of frog DNA had given the dinosaurs the ability to switch gender. On May 21, 1997, he created Caracosis watensis, a hybrid plant. On April 5, 2009, another hybrid was created. Years after opening, Jurassic World's success was lower in 2011 unlike the previous years of its operation. Simon Mosrani attended a meeting on April 4, 2012, in which the board of his company unanimously desired a new attraction for Jurassic World to satisfy investors. After he had gotten out of the meeting, Simon emailed Dr. Henry with his approval to create a new species. The result was a genetically modified hybrid of several dinosaur genera and modern animals. Development of the hybrid began in 2012 in the Hammond Creation Lab sometime after the board meeting. Unknown to Moss Rani was that Dr. Henry Wu, the creator of the hybrid, had made a deal with Ingen Security Division Commander Vic Hoskins to weaponize it in a grand scheme to have dinosaurs be used in military operations and kept many of the creatures used in its creation a secret. Upon Simon Mosrani's announcement of the creation of the genetic hybrid, now named Indominus Rex, online ticket sales for Jurassic World skyrocketed. Two Indominus Rex were meant to be kept in their own paddock that had walls with a height of 12 meters this was also planned in case one of them died. However, the older Indominus cannibalized her own sibling and would also attack the workers of her paddock as well. Three weeks before their paddock was opened to the public, Simon Mosrani visited the paddock. Fivey had not been able to do so for many months due to him being needed for several meetings and events. At the time of his visit, the lone Indominus was not fully grown and was only 12.2 meters. Simon told Claire Deering to consult Owen Grady to see if he was interested in taking a job requiring him to inspect the paddock for any vulnerabilities after seeing her attempt of breaking the glass in the observation deck. That same day, the Indominus later managed to avoid her temperature being picked up by the thermal cameras. Thanks to the frog DNA in her species and left claw marks on the walls to make them think she was able to climb over the enclosure's wall. When Owen Grady, paddock supervisor Nicholas Letting and worker Nick Kilgour came in to investigate the damaged paddock, the hybrid ambushed them as soon as they got word that she was still in the paddock, making a quick meal out of Kilgour in the process. As they fled, she managed to break through the door as it was not fully shut. Free at last, the Indominus Rex managed to detect and eat Letting. But Owen evaded her by hiding under a nearby crane outside of her paddock, and then cut the crane's fuel tank, masking his scent. The Indominus Rex then headed off toward the Jurassic World Park, attracted by the thermal signatures of the visitors there. The Indominus then came across a group of campers from Camp Cretaceous. After killing a Brachiosaurus and two employees trying to warn them, the Indominus tried to get Darius Bowman, Brooklyn, Ben Pincus, Kenji Khan, Sammy Gutierrez, and Yasmin Afedula by tearing down the observation deck they were on. However, the campers managed to elude her by using a zipline to escape. It then tore apart their campground before coming across a caged Carnotaurus named Toro, and used its great strength to tear down the fence, setting him free. The story do not ends here. There's still some other things to say, but I'm gonna let this to another episode of The Story of the Indominus. Please do consider subscribing, it really helps me. And stay safe out there, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.